Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? We are here with the TCL 20 Pro 5G. Now, obviously, I have it in my hands, but we're going to go through the unboxing before I take this phone to a fun little celebration. It was like a belated birthday celebration for me, and I thought that would be a perfect way to set the stage for a real-world camera test. This morning, I had to get this thing unboxed pretty quickly because I kind of just got it, and then I brought it with me to that particular brewery where we celebrated my birthday. Now, the TCL 20 Pro 5G is a phone that has actually existed for a little bit of time already, but today it is finally out in the US. And here in this market, this might be a phone that is on your radar because of its more affordable price point of $499. The unboxing experience is really simple, but of course, we want to go through it to see what accessories come with the phone. We do start off with the phone once we get the lid off, however, and it's actually wrapped in paper rather than plastic like most other phone unboxings. But once we get the phone slid out of that wrapping, we see that it's actually a pretty sleek device. I have the gray edition here, and one of the things that I really enjoy about the design of the 20 Pro 5G is that all of the cameras are flush with the body. Again, we'll get to the actual camera specs later, but it's nice that uh, there's no big camera hump here to throw the design off balance. You get a nice sleek profile on here, and TCL did a good job of making the backing two-tone with this one shiny strip going all the way from the top and bottom and encasing those four cameras. So we have a good looker of a device, definitely looks and, to be honest, feels pretty premium. And then you get to the accessories, where in one of the flaps there is actually an included clear case. One thing you might notice as we get to the charging cable and the charging brake is that there's no headphone adapter in here because we don't need one. There is a headphone jack on the TCL 20 Pro 5G. So for those of you who want to have your charging brakes in the box alongside the phones, you do get one here. But keep in mind that this device only does up to 18 watt wired charging. But this phone is capable of 15 watt wireless charging, which is pretty cool. Uh, and to show that off, they actually included with my review unit a branded power brick. And on the side where you put the phone for wireless charging, there are these suction cups. And there's the wireless charging using a power brick that can actually quite literally stick on the phone. So, I mean, that, that's kind of cool. Nice way of showing this off. So with the phone thoroughly unboxed, I go ahead and get into the setup. And what we have here is TCL's particular UI that is running Android 11. A couple of interesting things right off the bat. During the setup, after I enrolled my fingerprint and also uh, set up the face unlock, both of which are available here, it asks for your dominant hand, which is basically dictating where the back button will be, whether it's on the left or the right. Uh, but I just went into the settings and turned on uh, full screen gestures anyway. And then you can choose what kind of lock screen you want to have, whether it's the original Android one with all the notifications shown one by one, or this sort of iconic TCL lock screen where you have this rectangular shape here, uh, and it's showing me right now the level of my charge while doing the wireless charging. Kind of a cool animation. That motif on the lock screen is also available as an always-on display, which you can customize. And the always-on display is available because you have an AMOLED screen. Now, this display has been getting some accolades recently, and despite it not being more than full HD plus resolution, I have to say, the colors coming out of this are pretty awesome. That's due in part to TCL's own enhancements that they put on the screen, called NXT Vision. Essentially, they're enhancing the contrast, the sharpness, the dark details in both video content and gaming content. But when it comes to gaming, you might get that extra pop in the colors and contrast and whatnot, but we are working with a 60 hertz display here. You're not going to get that high refresh rate, you're not going to take advantage of the high frame rates of certain games, and that's just something to keep in mind. On the topic of performance, this phone is rocking the Snapdragon 750G. Now, that provides the 5G connectivity that is in this phone's name. However, uh, it is more of a mid-range chipset. You won't be able to go max out on all of the settings in games like League of Legends, Wild Rift, uh, much less be able to do the higher frame rates because of the 60Hz refresh rate, like I just said. Uh, so just uh, keep that in mind. Uh, this is a more affordable device and a gaming phone. It definitely is not. All right, so we've gone over a lot of the top level specifications. Why don't we go ahead and jump into the vlog that I shot using the various cameras of the TCL 20 Pro 5G. This is May. Uh, <laughs> funny thing, um, if you've been following my channel for the last like month, you know that I've gone to a couple of weddings. And actually, real quick. All right, now we're on the 4K. I was actually in 1080p earlier, but yes, uh, I've been to a couple of weddings recently, and as Isa will make fun of me, I make new friends wherever I go. This is one of them. <laughs> And so, last week was my birthday, and I was like, hey, we should all hang out, and if so, uh, we can, like, celebrate my birthday. And they went ahead and put together this, like, big old thing at, like, a brewery. There's, like, 12 people coming and whatnot, and I have a driver, and that's me right here. <laughs> 
<laughs> so thank you to the friends and thank you to Mae for driving me so that I can actually drink at this beer brewery. Now, right off the bat on this sunny Southern California day, a very hot day in SoCal, to be fair, uh, we are looking at some pretty good photos thus far, especially from the main sensor, which is a 48 megapixel Sony sensor. And it's nice to have both of these sensors provide 4K video recording so that I could do the more vloggy type shots. But as you saw earlier, I'm already a big fan of the fact that the front facing camera at 32 megapixels is able to also provide 4K video capture. All right, got a sizable group here. Um, I'm very flattered and honestly humbled and honored. It would not be a JV celebration without tacos. You know how I do. Let's do this. One thing I do notice though with the photos is I could use a little bit more saturation in some of the colors. They did look pretty good on the phone, especially with that NXT vision on and the fact that this is an AMOLED display. Uh, but now that I'm looking at them on a computer, uh, I am seeing that they need a little bit more of a punch. That is also true for the macro shots, which you get through a five megapixel sensor. By getting really close to the subject, uh, you also cut some of the light hitting it, so you just get a loss in quality throughout. As far as video content is concerned, the main sensor is doing a pretty good job, especially providing a little bit of depth of field behind the subjects that I put right in the dead center of the frame. But as to be kind of expected, going down to the 16 megapixel wide angle sensor for video uh, results in a pretty significant loss in quality. You can see in this shot that while indoors was actually a really well lit area, but it still struggled a bit in this not broad daylight situation. Now the last sensor that you get on the rear is a 2 megapixel depth sensor which is supposed to help with portrait shots. I did get a couple of them courtesy of my friends who were taking pictures of me with the cake that my friend got for this belated birthday celebration. And then coming back to the front facing camera, I am happy it can do 4K video recording as we sometimes don't see that in even flagship devices sometimes, but it definitely needs some work in the dynamic range department. <laughs> <laughs> and after sleeping off the four or five beers that I had at the brewery, once again, thank you to my friends for having that bash for me. I went ahead and got some more photos and videos around the house, a couple of macro shots, and then I did play around with the super night mode that was on here, but I was not particularly impressed with the ultimate results. Overall, the experience of shooting with the TCL 20 Pro 5G is what I kind of expected. For a phone at under $500, you definitely want to be using that main sensor the most if the utmost quality is important to you. The other lenses are there in case you need them for various situations, especially the ultra wide and maybe the macro lens. I give the front facing camera props for being a good selfie shooter on top of providing 4K video recording. And there are a couple of other modes you can play with there as well. Here's a nice little mode uh, that I find after all the stuff you just watched, uh, a video bokeh mode. So this is on the front facing camera. As long as it's able to find me well enough in the frame, I have this really nice bokehed out background. It actually looks pretty good. Again, this is a front facing camera, 32 megapixels, capable of 4K video recording. And right now, around the golden hour, twilight, um, it's looking really good, honestly. Just looking at the viewfinder right now, it's pretty nice. Now, in actually getting those photos and videos for the vlog portion of this video, I did notice a couple of things, uh, and they are kind of understandable, but I do have to mention them. One of them is a bit of a quirk. In the camera app, when you're taking photos, you do have a button to go from one times to a digital two times and beyond if you want to, and then you press it again for it to come back to 0.6 times. In video, though, you have a whole different icon for the wide angle camera to be activated, uh, and you can't hit that button while recording video. Uh, so that's just something 
something I thought was interesting. And then when recording video, this is where I feel like the specification sheet actually kind of colored the experience of shooting with this phone, where when I would hit the shutter button to stop recording, it would tell me it is saving and it actually takes a little bit of extra time other than just hitting stop when you're recording video. As a matter of fact, throughout the entire camera app, there's just that tiny little bit more time that you have to wait for your results to come in, whether it be photo, video, front, back, whatever which is more than likely the product of this phone having the kind of processor and spec sheet that it has. But of course, that is all there to make this phone sub $500. And so there you have it, a pretty extensive first look at the TCL 20 Pro 5G, but I did make sure to use this phone pretty exclusively throughout this entire day after unboxing it. I've only had the phone for a little bit of time, so I will be bringing you my thoughts on what worked and what didn't on this phone. But, you know, because I did really spend some time with this phone today, I wanted to make sure to bring you those particular thoughts. There's plenty more in this phone to cover, especially some of the extra features that are available in TCL's version of Android. The display is a looker, and if you're trying to enjoy media and gaming on a phone that's not going to break the bank, this is already a pretty good shoe-in. And when it comes to the cameras, my thoughts on it may not change leading up to my final videos on this phone, but if anything does change, I will definitely let you know that. So let me know what you think of the TCL 20 Pro 5G. Uh, definitely a little bit more modest in the spec sheet, but also pretty modest in the price. It is available now. I have links in the description down below for you to check out the phone for yourself if you are at all interested. And then, um, yeah, let me know what you think of the phone in the comment sections down below. At the very least, drop some likes on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. With all of that said, though, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves and each other and enjoy your tea, everybody.